Yeah, my boys and girls, welcome back to another uh, Fallout 3 where we are. Where we go? I think we have to go to the OS because that is is not a DSC there. And, Outsider, oh. you have arrived. Please come closer. I have something of the utmost urgency to speak to you about. Do hurry. He doesn't like to be kept waiting. Okay. Hi. I'm so glad you're here. It's been a while since anyone's visited us, and he's been waiting for someone like yourself to arrive. If you wouldn't mind following me, I'll bring you right to him. I'm not following anyone until I know what's going on here. I'm sorry. In my excitement, I got ahead of myself. I'm Tree Father Birch, and I have the great fortune of being leader of his people, the Tree Minders. Beyond that gate is our home, Oasis. The Tree Minders? Yes, we're the Tree Minders. We're his people. If you'll just follow me inside, to the pavilion, all will be explained. Okay. Excellent. Please, follow me. Mm -hmm. All will be explained soon. Voice! The Great One wishes to see you! Am I great? I mean, there's pretty nice trees here. I can't believe you're here. Yeah, do you want to go? <laughs> Welcome, outsider. You have no idea how overjoyed I am to see you. Normally, outsiders are forbidden inside Oasis, but he has made an exception. Amazing. This place seems so... Ab abundant with animal life. The innocent creatures are drawn here by his gifts. They come from across the wasteland to live in this sanctuary. This part of the world is healing, my friend. And it's all thanks to him. The way you sing him, I could feel your affection to a god. He's no mere god, my friend. He is the one who grows. He is the one who gives. And he is the one who guides. Thanks to him, the tree minders have a home. I may be willing to help. I need to straight answer. Who is he? I would have preferred that he made the introduction, but I understand your hesitation. The Great One is a God Tree. A living, breathing, speaking God Tree. The Tree Minders are blessed to have this being watch over us. Why did call you the tree miner. We care for this place and keep it safe from those who would seek to exploit it. He gives to us, so we give back to him. It's an arrangement that's worked well for almost two decades. We shun technology and embrace nature. That's the life of a tree minder. Shun technology. How you offend yourself? The wasteland is a hostile place, and sometimes we're forced to defend ourselves against it. If that means fighting with manufactured weapons, then so be it. Had he not asked to see you, you never would have gotten this close to the gates. Which is what? Which bring us what to us? to why I am here, I hope. Yes, indeed it does. Sorry, 
I don't speak to outsiders very often, and I tend to get lost in conversation. <laughs> As you approached Oasis, he said you were coming, and I was sent out to meet you personally with a request. He wishes to meet with you. You'd be the first outsider to do so in a very long time. Where I find it? Yes. Person. To meet him, you must undergo the ceremony of purification. Once that's complete, you'll be able to speak to him. Whenever you're ready, we may begin. Wait, wait a minute. What does ceremony involve? It's simple, really. You drink the sap from the basin here in the pavilion. The sap will purify your mind and body of anything harmful that could possibly hurt him. I assure you, nothing harmful will happen to you. Okay, let's get the sun. Very good. Take your place in front of the basin and let's begin. I'm zooming down. Welcome to Oasis, outsider. Drink of the sap from the basin. Only then will he, he reveal himself. We will now Again. the blessing to ward off any harm the outsider I, may be carrying the before he proceeds to I the mean, it protects the God. I bid you to people. Part, agents of destruction through the power of his divine will. Thank you. Leave our homes and bodies immediately. <laughs> Live no longer in them, but pass over into places where you can Trust no me. One. In the I live my life by a long time. I call time. his wrath upon you, so that wherever you may go, you bear it with you. And diminishing from day to day, you may disappear, except where you serve the health and good purposes of Kit, mankind. you have anything may to no say? May trace of you <laughs> be found. All this, may he be so good as to grant us, who is to come to judge the living and the dead, and the world by his redoom. Oh, thanks. Soon. You will pass peacefully into sleep, Outsider. And when you awake, you will witness his glory firsthand. Okay. Ah, it's so bright. Uh, oh. oh, I'm here. Um. to see you're finally awake. I can't believe they made you do that stupid ceremony. <laughs> Interrupting boy. They listen when I talk, but they don't hear. You know what I mean? I never met a talking tree before. Neither have I. Well, I mean, I talked to Herbert, but he never really says anything back. <laughs> Do you, Herbert? He kept growing around me. Maybe for calling him Herbert all the time. His name's really Bob. I think it's funny when I call him Herbert, though. <laughs> so, so you are trapped in there inside of the Herbert and Bob thing? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way. See, Bob used to ride around on top of my head, sunk his roots right in there, you know? Well, 
Eventually, he got bigger than me, and then I pretty much ended up inside. How in the hell, how on, on the earth did that happen? It was a long time ago. I tend to lose track. <laughs> I was exploring some sort of a military base with some other people. I think it was called Mariposa. We were pretty deep inside. And we found some weird vats of this nasty green goo. Right when we were about to leave, I think we were attacked. Last thing I remember before blacking out was something knocking my friend into the stuff. Mm -hmm. So, the tree minder says you need my help. Yes. Yes, I do. Or, I guess, we do. Me and Bob, that is. I had you brought in here to ask a very simple favor. Would you please kill me? You want me to murder you? Oh, no, 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 no. It wouldn't be murder. You'd be doing me a favor. <laughs> you see, I've been stuck here for over two decades now, rooted right into the ground. The only friends I've got are Bob and those weirdos out there who think I'm a god. I, if I kill you, every tree minder will come out. Oh, no, no, don't worry about them. When you decide to go down there, I'll have a little chat with Birch and the rest of the gang. They usually don't understand a word I say, but I'll make them come around. How be able to kill you? You are too. How to put this? I've been feeling rather spread out lately. I think Bob's kind of shoved my insides around some. <laughs> it's hard to tell where everything is, but it's always that way with one's insides, isn't it? Anyway, I believe Bob's carried some of my organs into his root system. I want you to go underground and destroy my heart. Why do Now, how exactly am I supposed to do that? I can barely move anymore. Thanks to Bob. I'm obviously not going to be doing anything for a very long time. Can I have some time to think about it? Oh, of course. I know this is an unusual request, but hey. <laughs> I'm an unusual tree, huh? <laughs> well, Bob is, anyway. We'll just keep it an open invitation, then. I don't want to wait until the next person visits. It could be 
years. You're all I've got! Well, goodbye for now, Herba or was it Bob? No, no. Herbert is the tree. Bob is his real name, but I call him Herbert because I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> but I'm still in here too. What's left of me? The name's Harold. Nice to meet you, Harold. Harold. So you're the outsider, huh? You seem nice to me. Uh, tell me about you, girl. Oh, you mean Harold? He's really nice. Sometimes when I get really lonely, I go into the grove and talk to him. Sometimes I even curl up all cozy-like and sleep next to his root after I have a bad dream. I tell him what I'm scared of, and he tells me what he's scared of. It makes me feel better, knowing I'm not the only one. <laughs> hey, maybe if you tell me what Hera is scared of, I won't be scared either. Aw, I never knew an outsider could be scared of anything. Harold told me that he's scared of fire. If fire ever got on him, it would burn him and Bob until they were all gone. That's why we keep the fires far away from him. My parents told me never to go past the old gate. There are monsters in there. That's okay. I like talking about Harold. He's really nice. He's my best friend. Sometimes I even curl up all cozy-like and sleep next to his roots after I have a bad dream. I tell him what I'm scared of, and he tells me what he's scared of. It makes me feel... I was born here, silly. Okay. Just get born, I guess. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> You're a... Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Bloomseer Poplar, soothsayer and healer of Oasis. Nice. It brings me great honor to welcome you. Mm. Uh, look. In what we call the harvest month, the Great One creates seeds among his branches within seed pods. At the end of this time, the pods open and the seeds are carried quite easily upon the wind. It's quite beautiful. Wherever the seeds take purchase, they grow into trees, plants, grass, or all manner of wonderful things. Amy. Be wary of the water in the caves. I fear they still carry the sting of radiation from the bombs. He's not my god. He's everyone's god. You, me, everyone. This place isn't meant just for the tree minders. It's for all mankind. What if there's the others that don't share your god? You'd think they they'd realize that this place won't remain a secret forever. The caravans know about it, and you happened upon it. How long before someone comes to take this place by force? No. I say allow oasis to grow, and that issue becomes moot. Like I said, he's everyone's god. This place isn't meant just for the tree minders. It's for all mankind. True. I was the third one to arrive here mm. in Oasis. Tree Father Birch was a bit wary at first, but Leaf Mother Laurel convinced him to let me stay. If she hadn't been around, I doubt Birch would have ever let me stay here. <laughs> After a while, they taught me their ways, and together we developed the ceremony of purification that you undertook. My father was a healer like myself. He had the most curious books I would read about trees and plants and their medicinal properties. Many years later, I heard a rumor about a place such as this. I spent a decade in search of it. I've been in this wonderful place for over 15 years now. 
Well, I May have to you go. Rem And I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong. Why else would he have called for an outsider's assistance? The outsider is here to deliver us from our enemies. To keep this place safely locked away from the wasteland, not to exploit us. How can we preach about peace when all you want to do is keep his gift all to ourselves? That's not what he would want. If we allow the spread of this miracle to continue, we're putting him in jeopardy. I can't allow that. I won't allow it. Um, again, my husband. We I have no idea what's going on. I, I, I believe it's called Halo. Agreed. Why else would the outsider have been allowed into the grove? Um, Perhaps it's a test. Yes, that must be it. Hi. Cast aside your bits of technology and marvel at his... I know why you're here, and despite what my wife thinks, I know you'll do what's best for Oasis. After all, he chose you. And he would never want to put us in harm's way. Can we despite all the religion crap? His name is Harold. Oh, he's testing you now, just like he tested us. He wants to see if your faith is strong by spinning these incredible stories. Who else but a god could produce all of this? Don't worry. You'll soon see things as I do. No, you go. Yes, I've been pondering that riddle myself for some time now, and I think I know what he's trying to tell us. The Great One's influence is growing, and soon it will break free of the confines of this secluded veil. We can't allow Oasis to call attention to itself like that. It would be the end of him. If the same sap that you drank to purify yourself could be applied to his heart, it should stop the spread. I can promise you, no harm would come to him. That's all I ask of you, Outsider. Nothing more, nothing less. Miracles, Outsider. I... Hi. I love Birch. But sometimes I think he doesn't see the big picture. True. The spreading of his influence is not a curse. It's a great miracle. A benefit meant for the entire wasteland. Why don't any of you listen to Harold? Of course we do. He yearns to share his miracles with the whole world. To give the gift of life back to the dead wasteland. It's upsetting him to no end, but Birch can't see the pain it's causing. But now that you're here, I have a feeling the winds are about to change. Uh-oh. I see where this is going. I heard what my husband wanted you to do. Yes. What I propose is an alternative. The same person that created the sap also created this liniment. If you can reach his heart, it will assist in making his influence increase. Instead of centuries, the wasteland will become green in mere decades. Just imagine how glorious that would be. Oh, I don't your know. Your guest, Branch Tender Cypress, at your service. Welcome to our little home. How you I was an outsider like yourself. Wandering the world aimlessly, wasting my life trying to seek my fortune. When my mm. eyes beheld the splendor of Oasis, I knew I'd found a holy place. Tree Father Birch allowed me to stay, and I've been here ever since. I wish they wouldn't argue so much. It makes everyone uncomfortable. Sure. Actually, you already did some of it. I had to do the ceremony and meet with the Great One. 
Van Tree, Father Birch, taught me everything I needed to know about Oasis and how it has to remain a secret. That's why I'm so worried. I just think letting this place spread into the wasteland would be an unwise decision. What if all Tree Mother don't agree? That would worry me. I was out there once, like you. I wandered the wasteland for many years. All I saw was poverty, famine, sickness, hate, and death everywhere I turned. But this place, this place isn't anything like that. We can't allow that kind of evil inside Oasis. We just can't. Like I said before, that's why I'm... They're the best parents ever. <laughs> yeah, I bet they are. One give you candy and the other. Just. <laughs> the mm. Mm. Yes. What can I do for you on this beautiful day? I was brought here by his will. I heard his calling, and I followed. I believe only a few are worthy enough to find this place, and I'm honored to be among them. That's why I dread the day Oasis overgrows its boundaries. I don't see that much matter. Oh, it is. It's off a beer bath as it is. I suppose so, but you found it. How many others will stumble across Oasis? Will they be friendly? I'm worried, Outsider. I'm truly worried. I was... He is the Great One. The Tree Father of Tree Fathers. There is no greater being in the world than he. I've dedicated my life to protecting this place from the outside world, and I will never fail in that duty. I think this place would be lost if it weren't for them. There's no telling what fate may have befallen the Great One if someone like the godless raiders had gotten here first. I had to accept the ideals of Tree Father Birch and cast away my dependence on technology. There's nowhere you have more questions for me, perhaps? Are you Lately, things have gotten a bit worse <laughs> between them. It sometimes takes months for them to agree on things. Ooh. I know they love each other greatly, but I'm afraid the strain of leadership is tearing them apart. It's very nice to meet you, Outsider. I'm Branch Tender Linden. I sort of fell into it, I guess. I woke up here and I just stayed. After a while, I became one of them. Nice. I was found dying in the wastes not far from here by a trader caravan. They knew about this place and brought me to Bloomseer Poplar. She nursed me back to health and I've stayed ever since. Dying now? Awful. What happened to you? I was a Brotherhood of Steel outcast. We had a deep patrol out here looking for some tech, and they got jumped by some death claws. They shredded everyone else and left me bleeding to death. If it wasn't for Oasis and Bloomseer Poplar, I'd be dead right now. Honestly, I've never seen anything like this place. It's beautiful. It's a shame only a few people will ever get to see it. True. Well, I'm not so sure the Great One is a god. I mean, I don't believe in that sort of thing. Oh, However, I am beginning to realize he's special. Yes. Something greater than any of the creatures in the Wasteland. True. Oasis is located near what used to be an old mining town before the bombs fell. Mm -hmm. When the attack started about 200 years ago, many people took shelter in the natural caves that dotted the area. The old gate that stands at the mouth of Oasis Cave is the last piece of architecture from those days. 
I have only known them for a very short time, but when I first arrived, they immediately took me in and treated me just like a son. There aren't many people in the world left like that. True. You have questions for me outside. Please go right ahead. How did I'm afraid I can take none of the credit for my husband's creation. I arrived perhaps a year after him, well after he established the tree minders. Without his blessing, we would not allow an outsider inside this veil. Although we would welcome you with open arms, you were obviously drawn here to help us. True. What remains to be seen is what that help turns out to be. Yet, if the Great One knows you to be worthy of his grace, he will allow you to pass through to his heart. Certainly. Why don't you travel? The Great One has not yet allowed us entry below ground. We were uncertain as to why until you arrived. Well. The liniment was made by Bloom Seer Poplar. Her knowledge of his gifts and how they can be used to help us mm. is nothing short of astounding. The entrance to the caves is to the southwest of the pavilion. Yeah. That did. We should talk to the him. Yes, outsider, what is it? Damn. Just like a cancer would infest our bodies, the caves below us are infested with vermin. That means You'd do well to be cautious locks. down there. We've lost it. Of course. We're quite open about it. When I first beheld the glory of the Great One, I knew there'd be others who would seek to do him harm. I also knew he would be calling others that he felt were pure of heart to protect him. Right then and there, I created the Tree Minders, the Great One's last line of defense. I'm gonna keep walking this one. <laughs> How did it go? If the outsider doesn't have his blessing, we simply deny him entry to our home. If they persist on trying to gain entry, or display any hostile act that could potentially harm the Great One, we take action. If the outsider were a raider or some other nefarious type, we ensure they don't report our location back to their comrades. Becoming a disciple of the Great One takes many years of dedication and the will to cast aside your reliance on technological conveniences. However, I feel you've been sent here for a higher purpose and could be more instrumental in our future than a mere tree minder. True. Your name is Green. The first part of our name represents our role in the tree minders. The youngest are the saplings, still learning what it means to live in oasis. The branch tenders are our guardians and keep our home safe. Our healers and soothsayers are known as bloom seers. <clears throat> Finally, the tree father and the leaf mother are the creators and the upholders of the Great One's laws. Go. By all means. Bloomseer Poplar has a unique understanding of the innate power that lay dormant in the plants you see around you. She created the sap with the knowledge she brought to us from the wasteland. I would if I was able, but he will not allow us entry. His roots bar the door, and we have yet to earn the right to pass. You'll find... Uh, I'm not gonna... Go on. 
Is this place uh, a little plant? I mean... I'm afraid the water still bears the mark of man's greed. <laughs> it's his reminder of what we once were. Perhaps one day, he will see fit to lift this punishment. But I fear we have yet to command his full respect. All the it's kind of embarrassing, really. Once a year, Bob decides he's gonna go ahead and, and start growing these weird pods filled with tiny seeds. Well, all it takes is a good wind and the seeds just fly everywhere. <laughs> I call them Herbert Seeds. <laughs> he hates that. What with all the name Bob, Herbert, Hello, I don't know. Okay. Okay, let me talk real careful for the slow folks. I was once a man a long time ago named... Harold. Something in me changed and a weird little tree started growing right out of my head. It kept getting bigger until I ended up stuck inside. When people would ask about it, I decided to name it Bob. You know... Like a friend or something. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I call him Herbert instead of Bob because I get bored and I think it's funny. It's so, funny. long story short, call me Harold. Nice to meet you. <laughs> no, don't get me started on them. I'm liable to talk about them all day. It even drives poor old Bob crazy. No. Did I tell you which thing I go? Actually, the kid is the nicest one of all. Use her name. She sneaks in here sometimes and just lets me talk about stuff I want to talk about. <laughs> <sighs> Bob really likes her, too, because she makes me happy. <laughs> How did it get my own? Oh. <laughs> You wouldn't believe how they handle them. They make them drink this gunk that Poplar makes. Sometimes they just go nuts and start running around. And sometimes when they wake up and see me, they run for the hills. <laughs> I'll tell you, outsiders are almost as entertaining as the tree minders. True. But I spot that the well. Does it do you ask one of them? <coughs> they won't listen to me at all. If I tell them something simple and it gets done. 
Otherwise, Birch spends a week looking for a hidden meaning. Plus, <clears throat> he just pops in whenever he wants and starts chanting this nonsense. Sometimes I just sit there silently just to make him mad. That was fun for a while, but even that's getting boring now. <coughs> You're mostly... Oh, no, 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 no. Fire would be too painful for me and poor old Bob. Okay. You keep that stuff away from us! The heart would be just fine, and I won't feel a thing. I've been literally rooted to this spot, thanks to Bob for maybe 20 or 30 years. I can't even remember anymore. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine being stuck in one place for that long, not being able to eat, or to read, or to sleep, or anything. In the meantime, I have these tree minders bothering me every day about things I don't even care about. And I can't stand it anymore. I understand. You mean? I knew you would. That's why I picked you when I saw you coming. You see me poaching the oasis quite. A fat for a living tree. Maybe I'm just losing my mind from all this boredom, but I swear if I try, I can see all around me. Like my eyes are in every leaf on every tree. I think it's making Bob kind of jealous. Because mm. he was the first tree in my life. And, uh, all that. Have a good yeah, I'll leave it to good old Bob to get me stuck above some caves. Now, um, my dang feet are cold. I think the best way for you to get down there would be to get the key from the one those loonies call Cypress. There's yeah. supposed to be some old gate or something back in the other grove. Yeah. Sometimes I feel stuff tickling me. But I think that's just Bob getting back at me for all the times I call him Herbert! <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes, what can I do? I'll only really talk to you. Ah, outsider.
Ooh, I like this gun. Get behind me, yeah. I like when you go that way, but what would the other way? Yeah, it was good. 
scary, but not at all. I need to go this way, yeah. Give you nightmares. We're good nightmares. Oh, I hear the heart. I hear how the heart. Whoa. I don't know what to do.
Bomb. I feel a change in the air. I want... You've done a great deed this day, my friend. The gifts the Great One has bestowed upon us will now take mere decades to breach the confines of Oasis instead of <laughs> centuries. I would glad to do it, or even to be shared with the world. In your short visit here, I can see you've learned much. That's a rare gift in these turbulent times. I believe there are a few tree minders who wish to speak to you before you depart. I think you'll find their appreciation quite rewarding. True. Good luck in all your journeys, my friend. I hope your time here has opened your heart as well as it opened your eyes. Um, so, it looks like you decided to do things their way, huh? How come? You become an important part of your life. Without you, they're lost. So, they really need me that badly, huh? Yeah, I guess I never thought of it that way. Awfully selfish of me. <laughs> Should we give them another chance? Herbert! <laughs> <laughs> Fine, fine. I mean, Bob. I still think it's funny when I call him Herbert. <laughs> I know. It's gone. I see. Yes. I'm very happy to see you again. What do you do Look now? to the future and seek the true meaning of what transpired here. If there's an answer out there somewhere, I'll find it. <laughs> I picture a place of great sorrow where men are traded for money and treated like Brahmin. Ooh. Please. I must rest a day's time. I somehow knew you'd be the one to make the changes that Leaf Mother Laurel desired. I helped to create the hoods that you see all tree minders wear. It's said that the cloth has a part of the Great One's spirit woven into the fibers. I present this to you as thanks. Wear this with pride and bring the message of renewal to all the corners of the wasteland. I trust we'll meet it. Yes, outsider. Whatever the Tree Father or Leaf Mother would have me do, I'm still theirs to obey. There. Hey. Ah, it's nice to have the pleasure of your company again. <laughs> I'll remain here and help in any way that I can. I owe them my life, and I intend to repay that debt until my last breath. I have never known someone to show as much caring as you did towards us. It seems to be rare to run into anyone like that anymore. That's partly why I never returned to my former life after I found myself in this place. Allow me to present a piece of my past to you, friend. Perhaps it will serve you better than it served me. Ooh. I trust... I can't run Hello anymore. Hello again, outsider. What do you want? I'll do what I do best. 
I'll make sure Oasis never falls, even if it means my own death. With the kid. It's wonderful to rejoice in the knowledge that one day all the barren rock and sand of this dead wasteland will become vibrant with green once again. Okay. There's so much to prepare for, so much to do. Yes, I believe Branch Tender Linden, Bloom Seer Poplar, and my little you mentioned they had some things for you as gifts. Nice. Such is our tradition when on. Farewell. Oh, but Welcome, you... outsider. Welcome yeah. to Oasis. Am I what is it, outsider? What is it? Although his influence will spread through the wasteland one day, that day is still a long way off. For now, we'll remain ever vigilant and watch. Just mm. young. Ah, outsider. Back again, I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Hey, my second best friend in the whole wide world. Aww! I don't know. Maybe go play with Harold? I want to hear another one of his super swell stories. Cool. I hear you yeah, haven't... I think you're pretty swell for someone from out there. And, and you were really nice to me, too. I was going to give this to my bestest friend, Harold, but he doesn't have pockets, the silly head. This is a charm that my parents gave me for my fifth birthday. It's really neat. Take it. May you remain under the canopy of his... Wow. wow. That's going to help really good. Yes, outsider. Slow, so we know where we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going up, we go. No, oh! we are. I got a hiccup. 
I don't know why. I do want to do this, but I think it's just good. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna put that down. down. Welcome home, madam. What we do now? What independent box will we do? Oh, we have to do this. Go right down here.
Thank you. You like it, uh, got all. of new things. Walking around in this world. We're walking and now we go. Oh, 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 where I'm going? Where I'm going? <laughs> My mystery friend. His name is John. I, I, I couldn't think of anything. 
fun design. So that was it, okay. We'll actually keep a down there.
over here. No lockings. I really just want to go of the other way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. This way, because if I fully went this way, I would never find that way. It's so creepy. I 
like there's one stuff. Charging you the power fist. Well, that does won't, won't, won't work. I mean, please, cute place, I guess. My 
um Oh, this, uh, this building is definitely breaking down on the inside. Where is it? I feel like it's... I would still be alive. Mm-hmm. 
think what? that done but I also wanna I guess I have to go over again. Mm -hmm.
will come on. But I will keep on jumping. I just go up. Super special. Shall we?
So if someone will act well, oh. eh, maybe I will come back here later. Quite interesting how some of the buildings is. There is one little area and a little side quest that I want to go. Um, oh, yeah. I just don't know where. Um, hello? Oh, it's the other one. Move along, please. Hey, should you be banging one together or something? Ooh. Yeah, my, my well one. Just going in that area. You, you. Bye bye. Oh, dead end. Yes, a burning to the ground. Mm -hmm. 